Localization of function is the idea that there are areas in the brain, especially the cortex, that are specialized in different functions or behaviors. This is a picture of the cortex seen from the left. The cortex is the outer layer of your brain and is associated with complex cognitive function. Simplistically, the cortex can be divided into four regions, the frontal, parietal, occipital, and temporal lobe. These regions could just as well have been called the front, the top, the back, and the bottom regions. Imagine for a moment what would happen if you would suffer very localized brain damage. This is very rare. Usually brain damage or brain disease lead to a decline in a range of behaviors due to their effect on many locations. Once in the blue moon, however, there is localized brain damage that only affects certain behavior while all other functions remain intact. Such patients are often studied extensively and they are also the reason why we know so much about localization of function. What would happen if you would suffer brain damage to specific areas of the frontal lobe? If you would suffer brain damage to the ventral medial lobe, the lower section of the frontal lobe, it would be more difficult for you to make appropriate decisions because you would lack the intuition or sense that something is wrong or too risky to do. This is what may have happened to the famous case of Phineas Gage. He was a 19th century railroad construction worker who suffered an accident during which an iron rod was driven through his skull and damaged his left frontal lobe. He survived the accident, but his friends complained that he was no longer Gage, as he could no longer control his temper, lost his manners, and became impatient. Gage's brain damage is very similar to those of many psychopaths. It has been suggested that the observed symptoms of many psychopaths, such as risk-taking, diminished empathy, and proneness to violence, is related to such damage. In fact, it has been estimated that 60% of all convicts have traumatic brain injury. There is a large body of research, primarily case studies such as Phineas Gage, supporting the notion of localization of function. According to the evolutionary theory modularity of the mind, the human brain has evolved structures that specialize on certain functions. In fact, there is evidence that some neural networks have a genetic component, such as the trisynaptic circuit in the hippocampus. However, the existence of neural networks for brain functions also comprise a problem for localization of function. Usually such neural networks connect in more than one brain region. Therefore, although strict localization may exist for simple behavior, such as the perception of color and motion, most complex behaviors require distributed processing throughout the brain. This was, for example, demonstrated by a seminal study by Lashley in 1929. Lashley trained rats to run a maze. After they had learned their way around the maze, he removed tissue at random locations of the brain. The more brain tissue Lashley had removed, the more poorly the rats remembered the maze, but it made no difference where Lashley had removed the tissue. This suggests that spatial memory processes do not have one location in the brain, but are distributed throughout the brain. One may also add the fact that human behavior and neural networks are dependent on experience to a large extent. In fact, although brain damage may reduce the ability for a certain function in a certain brain location, this function can partially be regained due to the brain's ability for neuroplasticity. The brain can change structurally and functionally through training and experience. This has been demonstrated through numerous studies. In conclusion, it cannot be denied that localization of function exists, but one also needs to be aware of that most behaviors are distributed throughout the brain through neural networks. The brain is also highly adaptive to experience.